to Cosme D's YouTube channel. My name is Kirsten from Kirsten Beauty here on YouTube and today I'm here to show you the fastest eyeshadow look you will ever do. Trust me, it's so, so quick. I am going to also show you what else is on my face and talk about some products you can buy from Cosme D. But literally, this eye look is made up of one eyeshadow plus liquid liner and some mascara. It is so easy. So if you enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Head on over to my channel as well, it's going to be linked in the description box below. I would really like it if you come said hi, watch some of the videos and subscribe if you enjoy seeing my face. Weekly videos over on Kirsten Beauty. So yeah, let's just get right into today's video. So I'm just going to start off priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. You can buy the original one off of Cosmedee.com. Uh, this is great at make sure that your eyeshadow lasts all day and all night. <laughs> I look so funny now when I've done that. Um, to set that down I'm going to be using the e.l.f. powder. It's just like a setting powder. Um, it's their HD powder. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger like that much, not a lot at all. And just pop that over the top just to make sure. That this is nice and set. For today's eyeshadow look I'm going to be using the Mani MUA and Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette because um, for the one shade eyeshadow look, I don't know why I did this because it actually is one shade, I'm going to be needing a, basically a pigment eyeshadow that picks up two different colours the way you blend it out. So I'm going to be using this colour here. I'm pretty sure this is called Insomnia or Aphrodite. I just I don't get the way that these shades are written, I'm not sure, but it's this one here. Um, it's kind of like a blue slash brown pigment. You can probably see it the way I'm moving the palette in the light. What I'm going to do first is take an angled eyeshadow brush. Make sure that it is fluffy and I'm just going to dip into that colour ever so slightly. And I'm going to work this in the crease. So because I'm going to blend it more with the fluffy brush, it's going to pick up really rich brown so the more you blend this shade the more brown it looks and the less you blend it the more kind of like dark blue it looks now the reason that you set your um eye primer before you start is because we're only using this one shade you want to make sure that you've got a nice smooth base so that you can really easily blend out the shadow because we're not using any other colours to blend it out today. Now that we've worked that colour into our crease, I'm going to take a spongy applicator. I find that these are the best brushes to pack on eyeshadow onto the mobile eyelid. So I'm going to pick up the same colour again with this brush, tap it off, but this time I'm not going to blend it, I'm just going to pat it onto the eyelid. And as you can see, it's going to pick up a completely different colour from what is blended into the crease. Now that you've got the colour on, you want to go back with your fluffy brush and just really lightly blend between the two colours so that it's a nice even transition into the crease. So just really lightly to make sure that you're not disturbing the eyeshadow that's on the lid already, but just so that you're making sure that there's no harsh lines. And that is literally the eyeshadow done. I'm not going to do any more kind of blending or any more eyeshadow at all. I'm just going to take a little cotton bud and wipe up the um, lines first of all. And then I'm taking the Cat Girl Waterproof Pen Liner in the shade Black, I think it's just black. And I'm going to do a little wing with this because really what I look is complete without a bit of winged liner. I'm now going to apply a little coat of my Kiko Unforgettable Waterproof Mascara. You can go in with false eyelashes here or just apply any mascara of your choice. I'm now going to move on to the face and come back to the eyes um, to finish them off later. So I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and a Damp Beauty Blender to blend that all into my face. And I was just thinking there as I was doing my mascara, I don't know if I said this already, but the eyeshadow is a duochrome. That's what kind of eyeshadow you're looking for. 
um, that's the one that pick up two colours. For concealer, I'm going to use the Kiko Milano's what's this, Full Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade 02. And we're just going to apply that on to my face with my finger and then blend it in with the Real Technique sponge. I'm just going to go underneath the eyes and on any kind of red parts or anywhere that I feel needs a little bit extra coverage. And I'm just doing one eye at a time because this is a really full coverage concealer, it dries really quickly. So I'm going to quickly use my e.l.f. powder and I'm taking that on the Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to pop that underneath the eye. So I've just applied my eyebrows off of camera and now what we're going to do is kind of bring the face back to life. So because this foundation is really matte and really full coverage, it does kind of flatten all your features. So the first thing we're going to do is bronze up the face. To do that, I'm going to take my Massive Makeup Revolution Ultra Ultimate Blush Light and Contour Palette. So I'm going to use this shade here. I think this is a satin bronzer and it's got a really nice warm tone to it if you can see which goes perfectly with the warm tones of the eyeshadow as well and i'm just going to bronze up the circumference of the face and this will just bring the color back into my skin from the foundation I'm now going to use my Do The Hula Beyond Bronze Kit from Benefit. I'm going to leave the link down below to the um, page on Cosme D that you can purchase this. It comes with all of these products. I'm going to try and show you without falling out. So you get the Benny Bam, the Do The Hula, the Benefit um, Hula Bronzer, the Mascara and a Hula Lip Gloss. So to contour, I'm going to use the bronzer and I'm going to use this little contour brush that it comes with. This is just so cute and compact and this brush works perfectly for contouring as well. I'm just going to take this underneath the cheekbones. And I'm also going to run some down the bridge of my nose as well. This little brush is perfect for nose contouring because it is quite small and it gives a really straight line as well. And underneath my lip, I'm just going to take the contour brush from Real Techniques and apply a little bit of the hula in my temples as well. For blusher, I'm going back into this kit and I'm going to use this orangey shade here. I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector and this is in the shade Moonstone. This is what it looks like, it is so beautiful and I think it will work perfectly with this makeup. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the description box as well if you'd like to pick this up. I'm going to take this underneath the brow bone as well and up on top of the brow. I'm also going to apply it on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge of my nose and on the cupid's bow. I'm also going to take it on a little spongy applicator, the same one that we used to apply the eyeshadow and just pop that in the inner corners just to brighten up the eyes. Talking about the eyes, we're going to go back to them now and finish those off. So I'm going to take my fluffy brush again, dip into the same shade that we used on the eyes and just smoke that out on the lower lash line. And like I say, the more you blend, the more the brownie, orangey, ready shade. <laughs> That's basically what I'm using to describe this colour. Um, so yeah, the more you blend, the more that shade is going to come out. A quick coat of mascara now on the bottom lashes and that will be the eyes finished. The last thing we need to do are the lips. So I'm going to first of all go in with the Too Faced Melty Chocolate. This is the liquefied lipstick in the shade Chocolate Honey. 
and I'm going to apply that all over the lips first. I'm now going back into the Do The Hula Kit by Benefit and I'm going to choose this little lip gloss here this one it is just hula and it is an ultra plush lip gloss and i'm going to pop that over the top of the Too Faced liquid lipstick to give it a nice glossy sheen again this product is going to be listed in the description box it is a complete bargain for the amount of things that you get so yeah definitely check it out and this is the finished look Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned some tips using the duochrome eyeshadow and um, yeah hopefully you can go on to Cosme D and find a bargain, there are so many good things there. So anyway if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to Cosme D's YouTube channel, they have so many really cool and really talented creators on this channel showcasing some of the products you can buy on their website. Also make sure to come and head over to my channel as well like I said it's going to be linked in the description box and I post videos every single week thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day bye